how badly do we care about our connection with God? How much do we desire to be in his presence? How important is that to us? Psalm 63 kind of talks all about this. It says, you know, I seek you early in the morning. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land. Um, I've looked for you in the sanctuary. I meditate on your word. Everything, I just can't quit thinking about you. And, you know, sometimes we can feel guilty. It's like, oh, I know I should feel like that, but I don't. That's not how I feel. And, but when we read verses like this, we're like, oh, it kind of renews our sense of, oh yeah, I do want you, God. I do have a deep desire to know you more, to love you more, to spend more time with you. And so if that's something that you struggle with today, just start spending more time with God. Start uh, talking to him and reading his word and see if it doesn't conjure up these feelings within you, you know, make you have a stronger desire for him. This is something that we deeply need is to have just a passion for God, right? And then the other question, uh, if we're looking at the Eastern tribes is, how badly do we desire this connection with other believers, other people that know and love God as much as we do? How badly do we want to be around those people? How badly do we want to worship corporately? How important is, uh, is it to us to go to church, to be with other people that have common goals, common things that matter to them, common laws that they go by, and people that can encourage us and help us grow and get closer to him, right? How important is that to us? This is Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, and it says, let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another. So it says, don't stop worshiping together like some people do. Go to church, spend time with other believers. This is important because you need this in order to stir up love and good works, to exhort one another, to encourage one another. This is important. Worshiping together is important. Yes, it's important for us to read our Bible and pray and talk to God and spend time with him alone in our homes. That is very important. And with our families and with our friends and at our work. Yes, all of that is important. But it is also important to meet together at church and worship him together and learn together. This is important. So we want to be zealous for our God like the Eastern tribes having a great, great desire for him and for his people. And if you don't have that desire right now, it's okay. Just start reading, start praying, start going to church and and try <laughs> to glean the things from the from that relationship with him, the relationship with other believers that he has intended for you to have.